Brandon Dow's score is in. It's a 9-9-5. Nine, nine, after the 9-9 nine, nine from Showers. So the Sooners setting up for Evie Schofer, and she may go for a double layout. We don't know. Ah, uh, not tonight. They were talking about maybe giving her a shot at the double layout because she tends to go flying out of bounds on the double tuck. Well, she sure did show control of this one, but maybe next meet on podium, she'll be able to um, throw that double leg. Next week, the Sooners are competing in the Perfect 10 Challenge up in Oklahoma City at the Cox Arena. They'll take on Nebraska there, and so we encourage the Sooner fans to come out and cheer on the Sooners at the Cox Arena. It will be on a podium, which is a lot like what they'll compete on at the national championships, and will be, of course, televising as well, so we'll be there. Get some great experience, because it is different, as you know, Bart, when you're competing on podium. It gives you an extra uh, bounce, but also you have to learn how to land and give, um, relax on that landing so you don't pop out of bounds. It's fun to see Abby showing off and really having fun. Little short on her double pike. It's almost like she's the kid who needs to go all out, you know, just to give her that. It's, You're right. it's hard to hold back sometimes. You're right. That's what Coach Killer was saying. She said she, she's got so much energy. Maybe we'll just let her go for the double layout, but perhaps they'll give her a shot at it next week. The double layout being the double backflip, the straight body position, it's higher level of difficulty and worth more value. Well, and you see that with a lot of the other teams out there right now. If you're watching um, Florida and um, well, almost all the teams, Georgia, UCLA, you're seeing a lot of double layouts already early in the season. 